Whenever we see videos about the future of smartphones, you're more than likely to see a person shape-shifting a piece of glass, bending it, stretching it, and going from different form factors, whether that's transforming a phone to a tablet, to a laptop display, to even a TV screen. And while all of that at present might seem more of a thing from sci-fi movies, it's actually closer than we think it is. Enter Lenovo. Yeah, they're actually killing it with these sort of things. Just a while back, they announced their very own flexible smartphone, and how it worked was just like a bracelet. You could actually wrap around the phone on your wrist, and it would work like an actual smartphone, a bracelet, or even a watch, which I thought was very, very cool. Well, we've seen many, many smartphone manufacturers adopt the curved display, and you don't have to look further than the Galaxy S series from Samsung, or even the LG G Flex series from LG, of course. But none of the displays are this versatile, which really grabbed my attention. Now, if you remember back in 2012, and I know that's a very, very long time ago, Sony was the first ever manufacturer to really come up with the foldable tablet concept. They called it the Sony Tablet P, and as you would expect, it flopped like really, really badly. When consumers wanted a foldable tablet, they didn't expect bezels to be, you know, separating the screens on the tablet. And when you actually look at the tablet right now, it probably resembles more like a Nintendo 3DS than an actual tablet. The hinges in the middle really took away from the experience and it was more like a tablet with two screens rather than one seamless screen that you know you could carry around and for it to be portable. But the tablet from Lenovo that I'm talking about, it's called the Folio and it's pretty much everything that a person would want on a modern day tablet and is probably what Sony fans were expecting from the Sony Tablet P. So after five years later, what does the folio do better than the Sony Tablet P? Well, on the front, you get this nice big 7.8 inch display, but the catch is it's a touchscreen display, but it's also flexible. So you can literally fold the tablet in half and make it a 5.5 inch display. And I thought that was really cool because um, it doesn't require any sort of hinges. There are no bezels between, you know, the folding point and the display so it's one seamless display and I was really impressed by it because of the fact that it's an actual working prototype and not just you know a prototype display because in the past couple of years we've seen prototype displays flexible prototype displays but none of them seem to be functional but with the folio concept everything seemed to be functional. This one in particular has a 1440 by 1920 display, which is by no means a bad thing. And what's more impressive is the phone or the tablet even packs a processor. It's a Snapdragon 800 processor, almost four years old. But to see a processor on a flexible tablet is really cool. And you also get one more extra thing, which I saw from the video, which is of course, cameras you get fully functional cameras on the tablet and for it to be flexible and still rock this kind of hardware is a feat in itself you might say that the tablet isn't really new or it doesn't have the best specifications but i think it's a very very good starting point i think many smartphone or tablet manufacturers can learn from this and this sort of technology might pave the way for future smartphones or tablets imagine having one screen for everything, your tablet, your phone, your laptop, your TV. I mean, the possibilities are endless. All right, I think that's all for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the concept down in the comments below. And if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.